Evet. Well, we've made a few connection videos here recently. Here's another weird one that we'll throw at you. You think we can make very many connections between so places so far apart as China and Egypt. On your left is the portion of the Great Wall. On the right is the Pyramid of Menkare. Yet we could have shown you Chinese pyramids on the left and it would have been a little more evident. Or on the right, we could have shown you the ancient fortress that's now under the lake that's been created by damming Egypt up and how its castleature looks very much like the one that's shown over on the far left, if you could make it in. Let's see if I can even get it to squinch up and see there. Castles. Castleature. Though far apart mentally in most people's minds, the founder of China and the dynastic Egyptians have many connections. One obvious one is these Chinese pyramids. There's hundreds of them predating Orientals in the area, by the way. And also they have graphic mummification, covering them in cloth tightly like a cocoon, and then a layer inside of a layer. The difference being on the Chinese ones here, as you can see, it had a jade suit on it, whereas the Egyptians like to use a suit of gold. Although in this jade suit that we see here, which are buried in deep tombs and pyramids also, if you'd like, what it's held together with is silver threads, not just any metal. And so they like silver threads very much so. Another thing he's showing you here is this hand that's depicted here being gold and bronze and so on. And while there's one of these that has been found over in Europe, and people are like, oh, I don't know what the hell that's about. Whenever they find this picture depiction here, they go, oh, yeah, well, uh, that's very, very much so like this. Why is that connection? Why is it not spoken of? So we could talk about all the differences that are in between these two people. And one made silk and so on. But I've shown that the mummy of Ramses showed that it had silk in his threads. Far before we ever thought of having a silk road. Showing that there are connections through people. Or indirectly or directly. It come from a time well before anybody talks about on the Silk Road. This idea of mummification that can be shown here too, but there are many other connections other than this idea that you have gold coverings over them and they're inset with gems or silver threads versus gold. There's a few things that are more. Not necessarily so evident, but as you get into it and you try to look at the connections, one might find that there's a reverence to dogs. Strange depiction on the right, but a lot of people see that on the left as being somewhat strange too. Although he just has enhanced ears, much like a Doberman Pinscher type of idea of the Egyptian Anubis. And they're both actually seen as pr protectors, if you will, and guardians. But there's more. They also had a connection with precious metals, which we can show where that connection came from. And just then it showed you there was this connective with oils and infusioned oils, perfumes, hemp. And they both had dedicated death cults dedicated to the afterlife. that hook up with these pyramids and astrotheology in a way. 
So one glance at these back and forth, you can see that there's definitely a difference, but there's also a definite connective in this idea of the underworld. But this connective to afterlife and death cults, it's really not unique, for we still are one in, in one today, as all religions have a notion of either resurrection or a blissful or horrible afterlife if you've been bad. The Old Testament seemed to embrace a heaven among the stars. Even you could become a star. You could become one. But the New Testament wasn't about that. It was about a resurrection God more, wasn't it? which is actually the sun coming around full circle again. And perhaps what we're looking at is religions. As I've shown before, rolling full circle again. So how can we make connections like this? Well, there aren't necessarily a full gambit of connections. But it's amazing how many people that the ancient Egyptians touched upon or that we can see common symbology from, just like a lot of other people that were involved in the beginning and origins of civilization, and we see echoes, or somebody trying to play that same song, but it sounds a little different now in different cultures at the edges of the earth. Let me know what you think downstairs, and if you can think of any more easily expressed connections between ancient China and some other culture like Egypt. Peace.